Hi there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to my online class where today we're going to be creating a triple fold card using the Stampin' Up! Hydrangea Hill suite. And this is awesome. It's a fun fold. We all love fun Hi folds. Hi there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to my, my apologies online class. for forgetting to turn volume down on the phone. That won't be bothering us again. All right, so I'm going to jump right in this morning because I feel like, ah, let's play, let's play, and then. We'll, you know, talk about some of the stuff that I'm using so you know what's happening. So this idea actually came to me from my friend, Linda Bowen. Um, this was actually a card. She sent this card idea to me. Actually, she had written a note in here when my, my Nana passed away. And it was just such a beautiful card. I was like, oh, we are making this. Um, and so I did it a little differently. I did a little belly band on mine. And um, sorry, it's upside down there. And I did mine um, with the Rococo Rose. So the Hydrangea Haven suite has, um, I, I mean, the it's got a few different colors in it. I, I know I had that up earlier. Um, but Rococo Rose and um, the Highland Heather are the colors of the Mercury Glass that's also part of the suite. And we've used that Mercury Glass before um, when we were doing um, the Mercury Glass cards. Super fun, right? So we're going to use that again today. If you missed my Mercury Glass card, you're going to want to check that out. Um, it's on my uh, it's on my blog and I linked it in the resource page for this video. So if you're new to my videos or you just forget sometimes, you will, you know, sometimes you got a lot of stuff. You guys got a lot of stuff going on. I know you do. Um, there is a link to this video on the resource page as well as a free PDF. So you can download that to get all of the instructions for uh, not instructions. I, I usually on the on the video PDFs, I leave a, a spot there for you because the instructions are going to be here in the video. Um, but there is all the supplies and the um, measurements and the scoring for what I'm doing today. So these are the, um, these are the, this is the Mercury Glass class that I had done a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I just drew a winner for that this morning for the prize patrol. So it could be you. Make sure you check that out on my winner's page of my blog. So this is the fun Mercury Glass. We are going to be playing with it today. I know I did a little poll at the beginning, but I think I'm going to play with Rococo Rose today. And the paper, the designer paper is the other amazing part of this um, Hydrangea Hill Suite. Just stunning, stunning paper. So it's 12 by 12 and it's double sided. And I love hydrangeas and I, I don't think I'm alone. <laughs> they're just so, the, the flowers are just so beautiful. And so there's um, some of the, this is just the papers in the collection here. And they're double sided, so. The back side also has a fun pattern on it too. So for this card, I decided to go with um, the Rococo Rose. This is the color we'll do today. And the main stamp set that we're gonna use here is from that same suite. So we're gonna pretty much use everything in that suite, everything in the Hydrangea Hill suite. So this is the uh, stamp set and the die. And um, lots of beautiful things with this. So you can find some more samples of this on my blog too. You can. Um, click on the link in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com. Okay, so Hydrangea Hill, this is what we're playing with today. This is the Hydrangea Haven Suite uh, Bundle. That's what I was just sharing. So this is the whole suite. I think the only thing I'm not playing with today is the ribbon and that is only because it didn't go. <laughs> um, that, that, the color of that ribbon didn't go with the Rococo Rose, so I decided to go with this uh, Blushing Bride ribbon today. So let's start with our fun fold. You're going to die when you see how easy this fun fold is. So I've pre-cut this and again you can get all those measurements on that free PDF that's on my blog. And I'm going to use the Simply Scoring tool today. So you can use this or you could use the scoring blade on your paper trimmer. Okay so here we go uh, and the scoring and you don't need to write this down because it is on that um, free PDF. And that is at one and three six. Does that sound right? Should be three eights, right? I wrote that down wrong. I think it should be three eights, not three six. And I apologize for that. Um, I will try to remember to do a correction on that PDF, but if not, you want to fix my, <laughs> so we're going to go one, two, three eights, right? So one and three eights, four inches and six and three quarter inches. Maybe it's three sixteenths. I think it was three sixteenths. 
And the reason why it was three sixteenths was because the eighth left you this tiny little mark, right? See how there was a tiny little thing right there. I'm just going to roll with it, but I believe that it wasn't three eighths. I believe it was supposed to be three sixteenths. So just a hair over, but it's okay. It's okay. Cause either one, either one is going to give you a beautiful fold. Just the, if you, if you use the 16th, it's, um, you're not going to get that tiny little flip there. And that my friends is basically all there is to this fold. Oh, Peggy, you've been going through my old videos. Yeah. <laughs> Let's change, Todd. <laughs> Let's change. But I always, always had fun doing it. Always had fun. I think I originally started doing videos. I actually had a TV show at one point. Gosh, it was over 10 years ago. And um, then I transitioned when YouTube came along and came on the scene. Then I trans just transitioned over to YouTube videos. And now we're doing lives, live streams. And gosh, who knows what the future is going to hold, right? So many fun things. So this is for the belly band and the measurements on that are three and five eighths and um, seven and three quarters. And so what that's going to do is give us our little fold here. Um, I did make that a little long. I didn't bother cutting it. Oops, sorry. You couldn't see that, could you? I did make it a little bit long. You can cut it if you want to. You can leave it totally up to you. That basically is our card fold. So now I'm going to stamp. I cut uh, this little label out of the um, the die set that comes with it. Let me just show that to you really quickly again. It makes a difference when you're seeing it in, um, in use, right? So there's a little label in the dies right here. This little label guy. I, cut, I just cut it out of basic white um, cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp with some Rococo Rose. And I am going to point out that this Rococo Rose is retiring. I know we are so sad about this. Um, but retiring list will be out the end of this month. And when it does, all of those retiring ink colors that I um, told you about uh, in my what you need to know about retiring ink colors, I'm telling you, a lot of that stuff's going to sell out fast. I can't stress this enough. If you haven't seen that video, pop on over to my blog. It's linked on this resource page or go to stampwithtammy.com and click videos. Make sure you check out the what you need to know about these retiring ink colors so you don't miss out on these colors because like especially the Rococo Rose, I use that one a lot, right? So the four of you came right from the stamp set. Part of that, I love it when everything matches, right? And with that, we just have some assembly to do here. So um, I'm gonna put out the pieces here so you can see what we're gonna, what we have to assemble here. I've pre-cut all of the um, inserts in the designer paper here. And I'll just lay them out kind of in the order that I'm gonna put them down on. So for the mercury glass, um, what I did was, oh, sorry, you need to go out a little bit further huh, to see all that, sorry. For that, I layered that on some Whisper White um, so that it, it, it popped. Because I could put the mercury glass directly onto the card and it is striking, it looks awesome. But if you put the white underneath it, and let me just hold them next to each other so you guys can see the, the difference. If you put the white underneath it, see how it pops even more it just really stands out even more so okay I am going to go ahead and take some if I can find it on my table some seal adhesive there it is <laughs> and we're gonna start some assembly most of this card actually I think pretty much almost all of this card is done with um, seal adhesive Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that all, the, all on the back of the, the mercury glass. And then I'm going to attach that to the Whisper White strip, which I cut exactly the same length. So you can't tell that that's underneath there, but it really just bang, makes it pop. Especially where it's going tone on tone here. It's going Rococo Rose on Rococo Rose. Okay, so we're going to put that on the first panel. And I wanted to decorate behind this panel here so everybody had a... Everybody had a little something to see there. Sorry, my head was in the way. Sometimes I just get carried away. The only sad thing about the double-sided paper is deciding which side you're gonna put down. <laughs> so 
I guess I, I really loved that um, purple posy striped, but um, sadly on this particular card, it is going face down. But on the um, on Linda's card here that she made, she used the uh, purple posy and Highland Heather uh, sides of the paper. So you can see the difference there and you can kind of see the difference of the mercury glass without the white behind it. So we've got a strip here for you to write on. And our last strip is our designer series paper for the background. And when you put them all together, and then do your fold, right? So cool, so easy. That is, I mean, anybody at any level, and not that it, it not that anything I do is is complicated that you couldn't do at any level but anybody at any level could do that so we've got our belly band i'm just going to use a little seal adhesive to attach that that is going to go across oh, i already don't like the look of this <laughs> i already don't like the look of my my measurements here and i i think it might be because i had the wrong um, measurement on the uh, pdf so i will try to remember to update this so what we need to do Kind of this is how I kind of figured out what I needed to to go across here is just kind of by laying it across. Let's take a little foam folder here. Sorry, it's not going to be quite as pretty as my original, but maybe we'll uh, we'll hide it so it won't show. All right, let me measure that so I can tell you where it's at. Sorry, I know I told you you didn't have to write anything down and then I went ahead and messed up the measurements. So, let's go this way. Okay, so that is, looks like three and a half. So, um, three and a half inches and seven, you know what? <laughs> my issue wasn't that I, my issue isn't that I scored it wrong. My issue is that I, I scored this wrong. Sorry. All right, so the belly band was right in the first place. The measurements on the belly band, I think, are right. I just scored it wrong. So the um, I scored it at seven and a half, and it was supposed to be scored at seven and three quarters. So either way, now I've, now I've just adjusted it. It probably will work fine. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Go to that second one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Either way, it works. And I'm going to cover up my little boo-boo with some uh, ribbon. Some of that pretty uh, Blushing Bride metallic ribbon right here. I'm just going to wrap that around. I used um, some seal adhesive to attach this to the card. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right across the front like that. And all the way to the back. I'm going to have the seam in the back so it doesn't really show. Get a little bit of overlap in the middle. Turn off my excess. Okay. So you can almost not even see my boo boo there, but we'll cover it up even more, right? When we go ahead and do the rest of it. So then I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow in this. I find this looks better. If I tie, if I, um, Attach the bow separately. I think it looks better. And you can go uh, glue dot. You can go seal adhesive on that to attach it. I'm going to go ahead and go with a glue dot. And we're going to put it right over there so it really covers up my little boo-boo. Because that's part of my job, right? It's not just to show you how to do cool techniques. It's to show you how to hide your boo-boos. Because <laughs> everything, you know, sometimes they're happy accidents, but everything can be fixed if it isn't. All right, so this was the last piece that I did not attach with seal. It's the only piece other than the, that bow. 
Um, I put a stamp of dimensional on the back of this, so it kind of popped up a little bit. I didn't actually tie it. I know it has a loop to tie. I made it look like it was tied by kind of tucking it underneath. So it looks like it's tied with the bow, but it's really just tucked underneath. And then we've got our, oops, squeeze my bit. There we go. And then we've got our belly band just slides on and off like so. And last but not least, we're going to take some of these pearls. These are the pastel pearls. They are also part of that, um, that suite. I'll go ahead and take some of the pink ones. Since we're going with pink today. And we'll just add a couple of those over here on the side. Oh, what happened? camera bugged out. Let's see if I can get you back in focus. Sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what it was focusing on there, but <laughs> if you felt like you were a little woozy, <laughs> sorry. Okay. And boom. Okay. So that completes our card. It's that simple. It really was that simple, right? I mean, there wasn't a lot. It, it wasn't complicated at all. As cool as it looks. The only complication was having my wrong measurement on there, which I will try to remember to go up and fix right now so that if you downloaded the free PDF already, here's the part that you're going to want to change. Right here where it says score at, it should be one and three sixteenths. And when you do that, you won't get that little lip. It will, it will fold perfectly. Okay. So that's my correction that I will do my best to try to remember to fix for you. And that was our cool card using the hydrangea Hill suite today. A couple other things I wanted to, to mention before, uh, before I sign off. Um, I, I have a butterfly kit. I know we've been playing with the butterflies a lot lately because they are awesome. I released this kit, um, the end of February. It was a huge hit. I've gotten a lot of response from it. So I'm re-releasing it, but just a very short time. So the 14th is the deadline on that. If you're interested, you can get the information at stampatammy.com. And also you will get double points on that because I'm offering, um, double, double points. So it's my March Madness special. Get it? Points. Boom. So <laughs> there's my impression of basketball. Um, yeah, I am offering double frequent buyer points. So your frequent buyer points earn you free points. When you purchase in my online store, be sure to use that hostess code and you'll get double points. So you'll get a stamp set in double time. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. I am live on both at the same time. And uh, we'd love to have you join us on all of our classes so you can join in the fun and the interactive fun. But if you're watching the replay, that is also as good as well. My prize patrol is, um, it's good until the 16th. So I'll be drawing a winner on the 16th. So it doesn't matter if you're watching live or watching the replay, you will be able to enter to win that. I hope you have enjoyed today's class and I will be back on Friday with another one. Thanks for joining me today.